okay and welcome back right now I want to talk a little bit about modification indices and why they are quite useful for us to evaluate our models I also want to show you how you can get back into your exercises after you have closed uh, our studio so for example right now I'm in my folder where I saved my R project so I can click on the R project file and it will load back my R Studio version with the last exercise that I had. If you want to get another exercise or another um, R script, you can actually just go into files and then select whatever R script you would like to start. So for me it's all good. Uh, it is already loaded. So this is what we did last time around. So right now I would like to go back to my analyses that I ran together with you guys. So I could start and read in my data again. Right. And if I I always can just run it with control enter the usual stuff so as you can see we have our myster mysterious x variable which was the participant number so we can get rid of that if we just go down here and voila we got rid of it with that magic little uh, command line there Right now, I would like to load my packages again because obviously I closed our studio and all my packages are not activated anymore. So I want to get Lavan, I want to get some tools, and right now I would also like to add another one that we will use in a little bit, right? So the CC psych package. I hope you have installed it already. Great, so now let's get back to our model, right? So this is our model that we want to test against our data, right? So we have seven items uh, that are supposed to be measuring the helping latent variable and we have five items that are supposed to measure the voice latent variable, right? So great, so this is our model. So we could just um, load that back and now what we did is we tested how well this model fits our data but it could well be that there are other parameters that are not in this model that are important to potentially include right so we could have for example cross loadings so for example this item here even though it's supposed to measure voice it could also cross load on helping right it's possible another option could be for example these two items helping item 6 and helping items item 7 they may share some content that is not due to the latent variable so so there might be some kind of correlated measurement between those two items right so these are all parameters that could be important to include Right, so we have to later on we have to think about does it actually make sense to um, add those variables or not. But in order to see whether it makes or whether it is empirically useful to look into these or if it's empirically uh, reasonable to add parameters, we need to know what parameters put could potentially improve our fit right so this is what modification indices are all about so how do we get them first of all we need to run our model again so we have created our model already and now we have to test via the CFA statement how well our model fits the data all right so let's go quickly through this little command again. So this is the object that we're creating which has all the fit indices, the parameters, etc, etc. 
this is the model we want to test against our data this is the actual data that we want to read in and I did not explain this little command here at the end so this is the command that tells R how to identify the the parameters if you remember we either have to set one parameter for example a loading or we could for example set the latent variables the the variance of the latent variables um, to a specific value typically it's one and so what I chose here is to set the standard um, to set the latent variable um, to have a variance of one to identify our model so this is what this little command is doing here right so now if we run this our model has been estimated and now we can ask for all the amazing fit indices again so here we have all our output the same way that we had before right so there's nothing really new there what I would like to do now though is I would like to see if there are some parameters that I could add to the model and then improve the model fit how do I do this I again create a little object let's call it MI modification indices and the command I'm going to use is ooh, magic modification indices then I have to specify what uh, object I want to run this on so model fit model one and I can also set a couple of other uh, there are a couple of other options that I could set that might be useful the modification indices are based on chi-square right so chi-square is the one fit to rule them all and so everything always somehow comes back to chi-square what we will see is modification indices in terms of what would happen if we free up that parameter and how much would our chi-square go down if we would free up that parameter so obviously we have lots of uh, parameters in our model so we potentially have a huge list but what we are really interested in is the modifications to our model that would make a huge difference so we can set a minimum value of a chi-square that is shown to us and that would improve our model fit if we would add it to our model so we can ask for a minimum value and here Bob's your uncle if we have a look again at our chi-square um, our chi-square is in the thousands so maybe I have no idea we could ask you know like show me any kind of modification indice that in, or any indices that you know like would improve our fit by let's say 20 or 30 um, units of our chi-square so let's say I don't know uh, random number 30 and we also want to see the largest ones first so we could go sort equals true right so if we now go and run this function and then we could just simply call it here and voila it will basically show us all the different modification in the indices that um, we could add to our model so for example here helping item 6 um, as you remember this is basically is correlated with helping item 7 and if we would free this correlation between these two items up then our modific uh, our chi-square would go down by 142 this is the estimated um, parameter so point, point 0.15 and if we standardize the latent variable or standardized all um, all parameters so this would be essentially the correlation between these two items 
after standardizing all parameters in the model. As you can see, it's a um, um, small positive correlation and your job could be to go back to the survey and decide does that make theoretical sense or not. As you can see, most of the large values here are essentially correlations between items. So there are particular issues about these items, so there's content to these items that makes these variables more highly correlated with each other than would be expected based on the shared correlation with the latent variable. So as you can see, these two items are positively correlated with each other, helping item 3 and 7 are negatively correlated, etc, etc. Voice item number 1 actually really seems to have a cross-loading, but as you can see, it's a very, very small cross-loading. So now, if, if it was me looking at all these parameters here, our model overall seems to be fitting well. If we, if we look back at the model um, fit parameter, so we could just grab, if you remember, grab down here, fit measures and fit model one. Right, so if I run this, our model fit overall is reasonably good, right? So to reduce that chi-square here by 140 or 97, I don't, I don't know if it's worth it. Particularly if you consider what that actually means conceptually, if we would add this covariance between these two items does that make conceptual sense I don't know it's something have a look that at the um, the items again and decide for yourself whether that would make sense to add that or not for the time being though what I would like to is just as a note to self I could say um, command to get modification indices um, and values above, uh, or how shall we phrase this? Um, modification indices, we want to see only possible additions to our model that will result in a drop in chi square by at least 30 right so just to you know like help us understand a little bit better what we did here all right so this is part one of modification indices this is a very useful command because it can tell us if there are some kind of parameters that are not currently in our model but should or could be added to our model based on our data that we're having. Always remember remember to save your models and I'll be back in just a second with a few more options for modification indices once we start getting into multi-group analyses. Alright, talk to you in a second.